Hey, this is Knife Standards. Today I'm going to be doing a quick unboxing and first impressions of the Berg Blades Iron Pup. But first, please follow me at Knife Standards. You can follow me on Instagram. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel for a lot more knife content and weekly knife reviews. All right, cool. So let's talk Berg Blades Iron Pup. So I actually got this knife um, quite a while ago now. And I, I did unbox it, flipped it a few times, and um, then put it back. And I was going to carry it. I was going to start my uh, review process. And I got a few more knives in, and this just kept getting pushed back <laughs> further and further in my, in my knife queue. Uh, but I remember really enjoying this knife. Um, had not carried it, had not cut with it. But I remember really enjoying uh, just flipping it around and playing with it when I did unbox this. But I thought I would unbox it for all of you again, and we can kind of rediscover this knife together, see what it's all about. I remember really enjoying it. I remember really enjoying the detent and the feel of it. So let's go ahead and open it up, and um, we'll go ahead and uh, it's you know it's it's time has finally come. <laughs> we get to open it up, unbox it, and then I will um, start carrying this and uh, start my start my review process. So Berg Blades. Um, one thing that I do remember is that I, I hate this box. <laughs> this is pretty annoying to open. So it's like a kind of like a paper box. Ugh. All right, got it open. Boom, titanium frame lock. Pretty plain setup here. I went with the plain version um, of the Iron Pup. And of course, this is just a foam cutout. Cool. And if you don't, <coughs> excuse me, if you don't know um, Berg Blades, he is a... Uh, maker out of, he's a custom maker out of Arizona, I think, and he does some really cool work on Instagram. Lately, he's been cranking out these, like, giant, you know, really serious, badass uh, fixed blades, and also uh, uh, quite a few axes, <laughs> which is kind of cool. Um, not my style, really, but um, axes and fixed blades have been his thing lately, but you know what? Actually, I saw him make a really cool uh, folder it actually looked similar to the Iron Pup. It was just larger. So anyway, he makes some cool stuff. I think he's also a fireman. I think that's right, yeah. Um, but this, was, this wasn't this was his latest run of uh, production knives. He also does production knives, obviously. This is a production piece. I think this is made by Wii. Um, by Wii Knives, OEM by Wii. And um, I remember this being really... This, it feels great in hand. This is a clunker. This is like a heavy... Not a big knife. This is like a heavy EDC um, sized titanium frame lock, but I like that. This is like a serious, kind of like a bruiser of a of a, of a frame lock, even though, you know, for its size, which fits in the palm of my hand. Um, let's go ahead and flip it. Boom. Really like that. Detent is nice. Um, now, some people have been critical uh, of Wii's OEMing, which I totally understand. I've seen some kind of sketchy work from them when they do OEM work, but from what I remember and what I'm feeling right now, this is awesome. <laughs> I mean, they, they, they crushed this one, so Iron Pup is good to go as far as I'm concerned. Now, let's go ahead and talk um, uh, Berg Blades. He's, he's doing... Uh, oh, it's called the Barber. So he, he just came out with a, another production run, which I think was made by Riot this time. And uh, it's this crazy, like, I guess it's a, it's like almost like a cleaver-ish. It's a, it's a very interesting, unique blade shape. Um, but it is a production folder. He came out with those. I think they did really well. Um, and I think he's doing a run of mini barbers coming up soon so i don't know check this stuff out it's it's cool stuff cool production knives um i think the barbers are also frame locks um or are they bolster locks i don't know uh, check it out berg blades um let's go ahead and talk about this knife so there were a ton of different configurations there was stonewash blade uh stonewash handle satin blade which i got satin uh, there was carbon fiber inlay and, uh, you know, coated, coated handle. I don't Yeah, I think there was a coated blade too. Anyway, ton of different, um, configurations. 
I went with the plain, you know, stone wash handle, satin finish blade. You can see his logo right there. I love this grind. We got the swedge, flat, pretty, pretty thin hollow grind. And yeah, this feels like there's a good edge on this. Let's let's go ahead and uh, get some scrap paper. Let's go ahead and check. Yeah. Pretty good. Pretty solid factory edge. I like it. Nothing to complain about there. Get these out of the way. Um, now, let's go ahead and see how this feels in my hand. Pretty good. Ergos are solid. I like this knife, you know, so let's, uh, I, I don't think there's, let's see, hold on. I don't think there's any internal milling. Yeah, so that's what it feels like. It feels like a, a, a chunk of titanium, which some people might be turned off by. I think it's cool, you know, I, I, I have respect for the knives that are really milled out and have these giant internal milling pockets. I think that is great. Um, and I also don't mind these just slabs of titanium. Kind of reminds me of, um, you know, uh, Chavez knives where it's just like a slab of titanium, slab of titanium, some M390, boom, done. Now, as far as blade steel goes, there are no markings on this. It's either M390 or it's 20CV. It's one of the two. I remember that much. Um, I'll definitely find out uh, for my before my full review of this knife. But it, it is it is one of those two steels. Let's check lockup. Good. If it was any earlier, I would be worried, but looks solid to me. Of course, titanium frame lock. This clip, I don't know about this clip. It actually reminds me of um, the uh, what is it? The brown brown knives. Um, uh, Brian Brown. Brian Brown knives. What's his knife called? He puts the clip on all his productions. It's on the Raptor. It's on the, um, uh, oh my gosh. You guys know what I'm talking about. <laughs> It'll come to me. Um, oh, the Jaeger, the Jaeger. It, it looks a little bit similar to the Jaeger clip. Um, I don't know. I'm not sure why they didn't put this up. I don't need a deep carry clip, but I'm not sure why they didn't put this, bring this up one notch and just have one screw going through the clip and the scales and the backspacer. Mm, I don't know. Jimping, I like it a lot. Feels great. It does, it's not It's not like harsh jimping. It's pretty, pretty smooth actually. Looks cool. There's a little bit on the actual scales. I wonder if this is, I think this is T8. It's, okay. T8. I wonder if this is a captive pivot. I might I might have to take this guy apart. I would assume this is on bearings. Yeah, yeah, it looks like bearings to me. The action is great and the acoustics are awesome. Pretty smooth on the clothes. Um, you know, lately it's kind of if the detent is too strong, that started to bug me just because I'm I'm flipping these knives like all day. And it really starts to chew up, you know, my thumb or my finger if I'm flicking it, whatever. Um, so, of course, I would prefer a stronger detent to a lighter detent. If it, I'd rather be too strong than too light because I don't want like a floppy, you know, floppy detent that fails halfway through, whether it's a flipper or, or thumb stud knife. But um, lately I've had a couple knives that the detent is just too strong. Like it's just too much, too strong. Uh, not by a lot, just by a little bit, just a little too serious for me. Um, having said that, this D10 is great. <laughs> this is really nice. They, they, we crushed this. I mean, I can easily middle finger flick it. It's very, very comfortable. It actually feels like the uh, the Pena Mula D10, which I love, 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 love. Super comfortable, smooth. I don't have to struggle with the with the deployment. Now these thumb studs are a little bit, <laughs> a little bit funky, but they are definitely wide, sticking out 
farther than the scale, which I don't know, I guess, I don't know. They feel fine. I mean, it feels solid. I like them. They're comfortable, but that's a little weird. Boom. Really nice. The action is great. Damn. Action is really, really comfortable, and it's already starting to kind of smooth out a little bit. Ooh. Really nice. Centering. Perfect. And you can see this little the little end of the backspacer lining up so you know it's perfectly centered. I love that. The relief cut looks really cool. I wonder, no, I don't think that'll get snagged on my pants, but we will find out. I like this knife a lot. <laughs> this is a, I don't know why it took me so long to get this, you know, actually out of the box and like onto my desk and, uh, uh, but I'm excited to carry this and 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 start start my review of it. It's this is a cool knife. I, I think I will also do a disassembly uh, eventually. Of this seems like one that um, you guys would enjoy uh, watching. I mean, I mean, you know, watching the disassembly. But let me know if you want to see me take this apart. I'm really curious to see if this is a captive pivot or not. Uh... There's tooling marks on both sides. I don't know, but that that's, that'd be a huge, huge plus for this knife if it was a captive pivot. Um, I have <laughs> I have no patience for for uh, free spinning pivots lately, um, and I don't think I will have patience for that uh, ever again. So, um, captive pivot would be great. Oh, also, I really like these cutouts to give better access to the lock bar. Let's check the detent. Boom, snappy. I this detent is great. So every time you want to hate on wee knives, just get a get yourself a, an iron pup, and then <laughs> you'll, you'll feel better. You'll feel better about wee because um, they crush this detent. Feels good in my hand. It's comfortable. This is definitely an EDC sized knife. Um, I think Bergblade said that this was kind of his his answer to kind of like an EDC slip joint, you know, because it, it does it 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 feels kind of like I mean I see what he's saying. It's 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 similarly sized. I think this is a three inch blade, um, definitely EDC friendly. Uh, I love it way 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 more than <laughs> than a slip joint. Um, of course, thumb stud frame locks are my thing. I feel like that is the way to go for for yeah, for my taste at least um yeah really a really solid knife great first impression so far and i will get this in pocket and uh i'll be back with a full review this has been knife standards thanks for watching